All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan. So I think I caught the I caught the cold. Um, luckily, it's not the flu because my coughs are wet and I have phlegm in my chest. So classic signs of cold. And I don't I do not have a fever. So now it's kind of a problem because well, I'm trying to fight the cold. And I'm doing mostly pretty well. Today's my physical day off. I kind of want to just stay home, but the problem is I need to go to Target and get supplies because it turns out we're going to be uh, here. Us, we're going to have shelter in place. Let's see if it's still up here. Um, blah, blah, blah. Long as you're struggling to stay afloat amid coronavirus. Oh, yeah, all these trucks are going to get fucked. Uh, oh, I got to be able to get to uh, 923 to now, so blah, blah. blah. Um, okay, I'm gonna have to do a uh, shelter in place. Should have prefer yeah, so 18 hours ago, uh, New Yorkers should be prepared for a shelter in place order. So this, like, this technically is not much different from what's happening right now, but the problem is this is gonna cause people to, like, flood the fucking stores and then I'm not gonna be able to buy any food. Even though I have enough for at least one and a half weeks, maybe two weeks, it's like... Ah, oh, now I have to uh, restock again, right? You know, I'm already spending like $108 a week essentially because, you know, I'm trying to top up my supplies while I still can. You know, but, you know, on the other hand, I'm also trying to lose weight too. So, you know, I could actually eat less food. But the problem is my, my body cannot handle um, eating less calories. Like I have to have at least 1,500 calories a day. Even though I burn anywhere from 1,800 to 2,100 calories a day if, you know, if I have to lift weights. <clears throat> so, uh, and of course, taking at least 100, 110 grams of protein daily as well. So, yeah. But, you know, everyone's already practicing social distancing, but, yeah, I probably got infected when uh, I went to get groceries uh, yesterday or some shit. It's, it's very annoying. But luckily, colds are uh, very easy to deal with. In fact, if I'm already experiencing cold symptoms, and then I think, uh, I don't know, I kind of just assume I'm still technically somewhat contagious, but I know it's much more contagious before something happens. That's like the peak or something. So, uh, yeah. So, yeah. But anyway, um, Bitcoin searches for this week are 18. That's the other thing, too. When everyone's rushing the store, the chances of me getting the cold are going to exponentially increase because there's like going to be a hundred people around me. Now it's ve it's very annoying. All right, I can't exactly blame people either because they need to stock up supplies too. So what the hell are we going to do? You know, <laughs> it's, a, it's a total clusterfuck. That's really what it is. But you know what? I'm grateful that it's the cold and not the flu because guy, if it's the flu, then how am I going to know it, it's coronavirus instead of the flu? All right. Cause that shit's gonna is what's gonna kill me. The cold is just annoying. Right? That doesn't. I never heard of a cold killing anyone. Or if it does, it's probably so rare that you don't even hear about it. So, yeah. Obviously, if I had to be infected with something, I'd, ra I'd much rather have the cold. Bitcoin dominance is at sixty-three point four percent. Twenty-four hour volume is very bad at one twelve point six billion. I mean, pretty much everyone's hunkering down. Oh yeah. So before we start, I did want to say that. Uh, what you might call it? I've been thinking about it yesterday, right? Ever since I lost my thirty-five grand, and basically what I'm going to be doing is, I mean, I'll talk more about this later, but essentially, I'm going to exit the stock market. The problem is I can't do it now because obviously everything's worthless. So what's going to happen is, and I've already looked at the futures markets and pretty much everything else. And my initial judgment, oh, okay, so markets are now live. Yeah, it's nine thirty-one a.m. So basically, we're definitely heading into 66% correction territory and at this point, depending on how quickly we can deal with coronavirus. It's either going to cause a recession or it's already a recession because literally the entire world has already grinded to a halt. Uh, we're basically at um, producing bare essentials. Um, I think as we saw later before, we saw uh, issues such as, I better refresh this. That's a good sign though. Uh, we're see okay, maybe not. <laughs> All right. Um, we saw that you know some you know they say Latino restaurants. They're not Latino restaurants. They're food trucks. Come on. All right. Now they're very good. 
Oh, I'm still smelling the stupid bleach. I mean, it's mostly gone, but, but yeah, it's a food truck, okay? You know, like, when you say restaurant, I'm thinking building, you go in, there's a table, there's waiters, not necessarily waiters, and you eat it, all right? That's a restaurant, all right? Again, I don't like... I don't like it when people are given or like again it's the ego right and just it's directly re related to lying just stop lying all right we're in this mess because everyone's f a fucking liar it's like oh my free market oh you know all that matters is the economy oh let's just outsource everything especially to china especially all 80 percent of our medical supplies yeah look look what it did to us it's and look what it did to italy right because they outsourced all their crap especially their textiles and clothing which is insane. Italy is supposed to be known as like the fashion capital of the world. And you outsource that to China, right? Because they were flying in people directly from Wuhan. Yeah, and then all of a sudden they all have coronavirus. Gee, I wonder why. And uh, yeah, that's what happens. So maybe next time don't outsource so much, right? At least when I outsource, first of all, it's because I have to, right? And number two, it's all digital, right? I still bring it back home, right? Well, the stuff, but not the people, <laughs> you know, so, <laughs> you know, and if I, and eventually when I do have money, yeah, I'm going to be uh, having employees and they're going to be in America. So we're going to be making, you know, working on my game and all my other shit here at home. In this case, would be America. All right. And shit ain't going to be uh, primarily made in China or South Korea or the Middle East or wherever. Of course, I'll have satellite offices because someone's got to maintain the servers worldwide, right? Just in case. And probably customer service. Actually, I'll probably have to do customer service for the basic shit to like outsource it to the Indian call centers. But for the more complex stuff, I'll actually have, you know, personally trained, you know, in my case, Americans. And then, of course, we need to deal with international. Then, you know, I'll have to hire... I don't know, Germans or Thai people or whatever, right? Depending on the localization I have to deal with. Um, but, uh, whatchamacallit? Yeah, because it turns out that a lot of people actually can solve the problem themselves, but they're too lazy and entitled to just do it themselves. So that's why you have the Indian call center to deal with, like, the vast majority of stupid requests. But the actual legitimate requests, that's actually the ones you want to be dealing with. You know, people losing items. It's like, hey, I made a payment. I was supposed to be credited this premium stuff i didn't get it can you and, and you know that i mean that maybe you could outsource to an indian call center too but uh given given how valuable my shit's gonna be like the the incentive to do fraud is very high because the last thing i want are the outsourcers that are, i have not personally vetted or trained or my company hasn't trained to just start giving people free shit and themselves free shit right you know basically it's like counter it's exactly like counterfeiting Right, so I gotta be real, I gotta be real careful about that. Well, I'll worry about that later. Uh, Warren Buffett, yeah. So people are still placing their faith in uh, money instead of God. So they're looking to uh, people like Warren Buffett to give them God-like advice. They will not find any. Okay, I mean the closest thing you'll get is probably about watching my shit. And I'm gonna tell you right now, this shit's going to sixty-six percent correction. Like, I'm actually going to, the next time I buy in the stupid stock market, especially after I got complete, oh, wow, MRRL is down to $1.30. I used to feel kind of bad yesterday for selling, for dumping at two ten, but now <laughs> I'm pretty glad. <clears throat> um, yeah, this thing's going to be worthless probably uh, in next week because especially the Dow drops to 9,600. That's what we calculate 66% from the all-time high. Right, and then correspondingly, the S&P and the Nasdaq will also drop 66%. Uh, and then at this point, I mean, the sheltering place for in New York City is going to be for like three weeks, supposedly, right? Because Bill De Blasio is starting to, you know, prime people to get used to the idea of that. I really hope they don't have to do a lockdown, though. But most people have actually been pretty cool and chill about social distancing and just going out and about just to get the essentials and then staying home. So I don't think we have to do a lockdown. Because I really don't like that, because Mike Sturridge lives in Orange County, California, and apparently they're already in lockdown. So unless you're going out for essentials or the person you're with is a family member, they'll arrest you. Like, yeah, that's essentially pretty close to fucking martial law, right? I don't want martial law. And I talk about you try to impose martial law in New York City, uh, you're going to have a riot, right? And what are the cops going to do? Are they actually going to start shooting people? They're not going to do that. Well, first of all, they'd be evil if they did that. And number two, they don't even want to shoot anybody. So it's like, yeah, 
you know, and, but, and de Blasio even said that, too. He's like, we're, we're, we're stuck. We're screwed. Either way, it's like, you know, this is bad. <laughs> right? But he says, yeah, we're going to have to do the uh, shelter in place. Which forces me to have to go to Target, even though I kind of have a little bit of a cold. So I'm kind of hoping I don't infect anyone. But, I mean, I kind of need food, too. All right? It's... Like, other people are going to be doing the same shit, too. So it's really... It's, it's really bad. It's really bad. So anyway, uh, the one concern that I'm going to uh, have is now that we're heading to 66% correction is I don't want RF, this is the stock I put my money into, to do a reverse split. Because that's going to fuck up the price even more. Uh, with that being said, uh, we'll have to see. Now, it took a while for... I don't think I have it... Uh, for this crappy stock, AMZA, right? Because they're actually doing a reverse split. So, and honestly, RF is going to be a lot stronger than AMZA because RF is an actual bank. Uh, and they're pretty resilient. However, they're still going to get kind of screwed. So, uh, let me see. I'm going to do five year high. All right. So, $18, $19, $16.50. Uh, this will be a little tough, but let's just say 66%. Of 1650 what is that because I need to find out if they're gonna drop below because for some reason when stocks will drop below five dollars all those companies want to do reverse stock splits it's not instantaneous of course but it's still not a good situation to be in uh, 66% drop so ten dollars and 91 cents so that's obviously not correct oh that's because I did uh, I did I did it wrong I did it wrong 1654 times 33 because it's returning the result that is what's going to be left over. So it'll be worth $5.45. So that's good. So it's still above the 66% mark. Now let's try like the all-time high of around uh, $20 even. So this is probably going to kind of be a problem. Uh, $20 times 33%. Uh, $6.60. Okay, so... Did I do this right? Yeah. Oh, okay. So I think we'll actually be okay with RF. Um, but if I'm wrong, well, it just means I'm just going to have to take whatever capital gains I get when a reverse stock splits and then two, three, four years. Specifically, the end, probably like sometime in the year 2024. Then I'm going to dump all my stocks. Um, I might also dump when I dump all my crypto too because now I realize cash is king. You don't get any money for it in terms of interest, but you get 100% safety because you, you, storing it in gold and silver doesn't even work. So I, and to be honest, I really just want cash because I use the cash to buy cheap assets. That's really all I want. I want cheap real estate. I want cheap apartment buildings. Uh, I am no longer going to be buying stocks because I get way less returns and I have the same kind of risk. In fact, I get more risk than I do buy cryptocurrencies because at least if I put all 30 if I put all my money in an MRL that uh, and instead took that into Litecoin or Steve I would get something out of it and I would not be forced to sell it because that's a real problem I was forced to sell at a loss that's a scam that's bullshit and it's 100% ap approved by the SEC uh, and now I can't say what I really want to say but it's a big banking scam all right all right that's what it is and bullshit and I'm so glad that we have cryptocurrency to counterbalance this bullshit. All right. Right now, everyone's getting kind of mad at China. Mostly so. Uh, rightfully so. Because of the whole coronavirus shit. Of course, the vast majority of these assholes also don't kind of complain about the uh, country in the Middle East that cannot be named and cannot be criticized. But, you know... Uh, what, well, this is what's going to happen, right? They'll slam China, and then when us Groypers start naming the names and start naming the countries, well, we're just going to say, well, you talked a lot. You talked the same shit about China. Why can't we do the same with, you know, XYZ country? What are they going to say then, right? Uh, so the good news is America is finally finding uh, out the truth, and hopefully we'll actually do something productive with it for once. And, you know, the story of America is we usually do. But, you know... Uh, that's because we were backed by God. Right now, we're not, but we're getting closer to God, hopefully. At least, definitely a lot of us are. So, I think I think our prospects are pretty good. Even Goldman Sachs says we should be out of this bullshit by the end of this year. Um, so, I'm hoping 
Let's see. Yeah, so Trump's just basically, you know, 50. It's essentially 50-50 with a little bit of bias towards Joe Biden. I actually think this is actually accurate. Because right now, the ele the re-election campaign for Trump is his to win or lose, right? It's nobody else's fault. And Trump is taking it seriously. He's doing his daily conferences. He's keeping everyone updated. I think once the mass production, because right now they're work, right now they're doing mass production of uh, the corona coronavirus testing shit. So I think the real problem is going to be oh, and but uh, they're going to have the Army Corps of Engineers start building up hospitals and shit in New York State because we're actually uh, really low on ICUs and shit. So uh, yeah, so everything's working good uh, for the most part. Everyone's being uh, bipartisan about it. no one's because uh, again, if the globalists lose. The globalists have already lost control. Like now, what's going to happen is there's not going to be anything to left to control if they don't get rid of this shit. So there's no incentive to bullshit. Uh, and as for the China thing, I still haven't decided. I, I still not quite sure what's going on with that. Um, from what I can tell, uh, it looks like they just want more deal. They want to extract more better deals from China, but they're not. No, I don't really see the people complaining about China saying we must. Be independent of China and just just tell them to f off. I don't see that. I just see them just complaining, because yeah, because I guess they just want something from China, but they don't want them to f off, which makes sense. But I mean, you know, you're drumming up all this. Uh, I don't want to say racist hatred, you know, because I know Jesse Lee Pearson doesn't believe in it, but that's kind of a little bit of what it is. And then you're not going to solve the problem. It's like it's a, it's the same story over and over again. It's really annoying to me. So, uh, yes, I will remember this, and I will eventually take my revenge on all of them. On all of them. Uh, so, yeah. But anyway, Bitcoin searches are 18 for this week. Obviously, uh, it's going to be kind of interesting to see where this goes. Uh, wait, I already did that. I don't know why. Yeah, I'm all over the place. But, yeah, Bitcoin's at 5,095. It's flatlining a little bit. It's down 2.49%. I actually am I'm going to be curious to see how much further this goes down. So far, it's been pretty resistant. So, because uh, now I'm actually looking at, because I don't think Litecoin's going to crash at $10. That's kind of what I'm hoping for, assuming now, I mean, now that we know that this shit's going to go uh, go all to hell, right? The stock markets and world markets. So what's interesting is cryptocurrency already had their bear market. Maybe it's time for the rest of the world to have their bear market, right? Or in this case, it's a recession. It's not really... I mean, yeah, it's a recession, but it'll be called a bear market. It's like, all right, whatever, you know, it's like, whatever. Uh, so I'm thinking by the time the Dow hits, you know, the target of 9,600, 10,000, Litecoin will probably be 20 bucks. That's what I'll buy in. But 20 bucks or below, I'll buy. Uh, anything above 20, uh, I'm just not going to bother with it. You know, that's actually probably the better deal. So maybe I'll change my mind about it. I'll put in 17, another seven, a final 1750. Um, because I also kind of want to buy some steam too. So, uh, as for stocks, I'm gonna have to take a look at what RF is going to be when everything bombs out. If it's below five dollars, we're gonna have to take a look. Otherwise, uh, uh, otherwise, I guess I could just do the same thing, just buy Microsoft. Uh, otherwise, I still kind of want to get RF because hey, I need to make back my 35 grand, all right? You know, I, I, I took it up the ass yesterday, so I lied. I mean, I, I didn't look at the video, but. I'm sure, obviously, all of you watched the video, so I'm sure I see you saw me go to MRL and then read the headline that says mandatory redemption. You should have seen my face. I'm pretty sure you could tell from my facial expression that's like, what the f <laughs> Yeah, so that'll, you know, that'll be a meme someday, too, I bet. I, I, I'm going to look back at it and laugh, you know, so that, that would be kind of hilarious. I'll definitely include that in my game somewhere, you know. 32.89 for Litecoin. So it's actually so so far crypto's been pretty resilient. That's because it's already been beaten pretty badly. So you can't really make dump it anymore. You know, Dog coins at 193.6 million, also flatlining. And of course, Steam. Uh, I've definitely been uh, trying to acquire more Steam because now the interest rate on dlease.io is 13% on average. So it's very nice. And we haven't heard anything about Justin Sun. So I think that situation's more or less uh, resolved. Where the hell is Steam? I keep seeing status. It should be in the 60s, right? 62. 12.92%. So it's actually up 1.69%. So yeah, Steam is pretty much more or less holding strong. But that's because Steam has also always been beaten like crazy too. So it's going to be pretty resistant to going down. Not saying it can't go down, but it's going to be a lot more resistant. 
That's why you see crypto really not going down, but the rest of the markets are, right? So, and again, like I said, uh, you know, you can't judge it based purely on the absolute percent. You got to base it in comparison to other assets or uh, securities. Yeah, this thing's down, like Bitcoin's down two and a half percent, but look at the Dow and everything else. It's going down five, 10, 15, 20%. Of course, in fucking MMRL's case, it's going bankrupt, like literally bankrupt. It's already at 90 cents. It's, it's, it's yeah. So, uh, you know, I would obviously be a lot happier holding crypto. And I do hold crypto, obviously, as you already know. So that's why I'm not as worried. I'm just more, I'm just more a little, a little annoyed. Cause a you know god, you know god will take care of me and then b i'm just like you know i'm better than this how can i not realize and see that mmrl was you know a fucking trap and a scam which forced me to reevaluate okay what do i actually want commercial real estate cash a cryptocurrency and what are the risks associated with that right you know diversify the stock market is bullshit right as we just seen it just costed me 35 grand and it costed some of you uh, some money too i had somebody in my uh, youtube comments tell me that he bought mrl also thinking it was good because obviously he was taking my advice so that was good bad news is i basically made him lose 50 cents a share you know so he gets a pretty valuable lesson and luckily he only lost 50 cents a share right i have to take it up the ass and lose 35 grand so it's like okay the stock market is bullshit <laughs> it's just, you know and the problem is not only is it more risk but the reward is a lot less so i'd rather just hold cryptocurrency and then that made me realize you know when litecoin doubles in price i don't feel much at all and i just don't care however if stocks went up 100 percent, i suddenly feel really good and smart why is that and i realized that's not good because logically speaking, it's the same return, but one was cheaper and a lot less risk, and the other one was more stupid. In this case, stocks. So I'm like, yeah, this is not right. Like that's definitely Satan and the old boomer way is still working its way through my mind. I gotta, I gotta purge myself of that, right? You know, because this should be the last time I lose money because it was such a stupid mistake and it was easily avoidable. Because you know, at least back then. I could have bought RF instead. I could have bought Microsoft, and I went. I don't want to be in the position that I am in now, right? And all of you would not have lost money on MRRL. And I'm like thinking, yeah, this is, <laughs> you know, it's like, ah, oh, you know. But either way, I'll get the money back. You'll get your money back eventually. Um, so what am I gonna do? All right. So basically, when this bombs out, we'll see what it is. You know, I'm thinking Litecoin's gonna be twenty bucks or less. Ideally, it'll be ten dollars or less, and that's what I'm gonna put in my seventeen fifty. I'll I'll just buy it, whatever. And then you know that will be my you know Litecoin will go back to ninety. That's a four hundred percent return, far better than I could ever do with the stock market. I'm not gonna be forced to sell. It's not corrupt by the globalist banking system. And uh, you know I can decide if I want to dump it at that if I need short term cash or just keep holding it, right? As for stocks, well, I mean, I'm already kind of committed, so what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to gamble and then basically buy RF. But we have to see if it drops below $5, and then I have to look for uh, danger signs that they might say, hey, we're going to do a reverse split. Because RF actually apparently was doing a stock buyback program, which, would, which basically means they want their stock back into privately held hands. So that basically would imply that, yeah, they don't really give a shit about uh their stock they just kind of they just want to take it away from people so what's a good way to do that uh do a reverse stock split which destroys the shares it inflates the price and then because it's a stock split it almost always the stock price goes down even further so and that's what these guys want so that could be a problem um but we'll we'll have to see um so when this bombs out, I'd say, yeah, it's going to be pretty borderline at five bucks. So I should be pretty careful about RF. Uh, I mean, they'll still probably won't buy out all the stocks. And they said they're pausing buybacks. But um, I don't know. It's going to be, it's good that, that's definitely going to be the risk. As long as this reverse stock doesn't uh, happen, though, RF will rebound the rest along with everything else. It'll double its money or whatever. I'm personally not going to care because I'm still going to be in the hole like another 15, 20 grand. And of course, when I sell it in a, in twenty the year twenty twenty four, assuming I live long enough, probably will. 
Uh, yeah, I got to pay capital gains on it. Meanwhile, the thirty-five grand loss from MRL, I'm still only deducting three thousand dollars a year off my income because that's the IRS rule. It's such bullshit. It's such fucking retarded globalist, big scam, big country cannot be named scam bullshit. And it's like, yeah, I am going to personally fucking destroy this globalist system one way or the other for this. So. uh and I'm pretty sure other people would be more than happy to join with me to, in doing so. Because this is this is horse crap. But at least, yeah, we're getting our $1,000 to $4,500 uh, stimulus direct deposit check from the government. So, and of course, we have Goldman Sachs, Globalists, and fucking Lindsey Graham. That's, it, that's the first thing I'm going to do. Like, the first thing, once I know that I'm pretty influential, yeah, I'll have to probably influence my local elections in Tampa, Florida, which shouldn't be too hard, but I mean, it probably won't give me too much trouble anyway. Everybody always likes rich people. Don't let, uh, don't let, uh, people tell you otherwise. And then number two, and then after that, you know, if I'm looking for a place to expand, well, the first thing I'm going to do is just look up South Carolina and just kick that stupid fuck out. Like he actually said, I don't want to give you a thousand dollars. I want to make sure your employer gives you a paycheck. It's like we, we we all jump down his throat. It's like he he needs to be removed from office. So anyway, uh, not really much here. I mean, we kind of already know coronavirus, coronavirus, coronavirus. So U.S. Canada agree to close border to non-essential things. Oh wow! So we're even closing trade with Canada. A lot of people don't know this, but we actually do a lot of essential trade with Canada. Primarily, what is the number one export of Canada? I'll give you guys. You can pause the video. Right. You know, in the past, it's, it used to be called the financial IQ test. Right? That's, that's what Kenneth Fisher did. What is the number? Uh, what is the number one? Or well, no, let me rephrase. See, the thing is, by doing that, I, mean, I kind of already gave you the answer, so I'll just ask it. Who is the number one exporter of energy to specifically oil uh, to America? Right? Uh, what country? You know, and of course, it's a multiple choice. So. Iraq, Iran, Saudi Arabia, right? Also, you could also name a country that I did not list in this multiple choice answer. All right, so if you actually said Canada, you're actually, that's actually the answer, all right? Now, it might be a little different now because it's been a while, but Canada has significant shale and oil and natural gas reserves, and they ship that shit to the United States, you know? Uh, I mean, I'm not even sure we even need it anymore because now America itself actually ships out oil too because, you know, because of fracking. So, uh, so yeah, Canada is a very important trade partner to us. Uh, but yeah, so to see them actually close the border and both countries are agreeing to do that because of coronavirus, that's actually pretty significant. Uh, but like I said, it says non-essential trade. So I assume this means non-essential trade. Yeah. Oh, non-essential travel. So it's not even, yeah, no, that's essentially the same thing. Current virus shouldn't be an excuse to loosen bank rules. That's actually true. Because also it doesn't work, right? They already did all this stim economic stimulus and nobody gives a shit because everyone's concerned about dying. <laughs> coronavirus approaches 200k places globally, futures slop as stimulus dwindles and coronavirus outbreak. Market may have already priced in COVID-19. Actually, no, they didn't. Uh, they're pricing in the, like, the actual damage. So we're in the middle of pricing it in. That's why I'm pretty confident it's saying that this, it's probably going to drop to 66% unless we get some sort of significant improvement in coronavirus. I mean, the problem is so much shit is shutting down that it's going to be a little hard to tell. I mean, I, I hope I'm wrong about the 66% correction, but I mean, I'm already priming myself to just simply wait this one out. I'm not going to be buying anything more. Um, so either it's going to go up or it drops to 10,000 Dow and whatever corresponding market indices. And then I'm going to do my final round of buying, and then that'll be that. I mean, I can't imagine this thing going to Dow going down to 3,000, right? But I mean, at that point, I think I'm probably just not going to be, I mean, I'll probably buy a little, but if it gets to that point, it probably means a lot of people are getting infected and dying. So I think I might have other concerns at this point. I mean, I'm not I'm probably going to be doing my videos. I'll probably just be doing warning videos and saying, hey, I'm going to be taking a break. If you don't hear from me, then you can just see I got killed by coronavirus or something. So, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, also the spider index. Uh, oh yeah, there's also let's see. I think this was a this was a utility company. I think PPL. Uh, it's got a really crappy dividend though. Um, 
$1.66, yeah. But it's obviously a lot safer. This thing will definitely not drop to five. If it does, that means the, probably the Dow is basically bankrupt. Uh, PPL, what are you? There's a description somewhere in all this spam. It's a utility holding company delivers electricity and natural gas in the US and UK. Ah, the, uh, they are in the UK regulated, Kentucky regulated, Pennsylvania regulated. Interesting. So they operate in two states. 418,000 electric and 329,000 natural gas customers in Louisville, Kentucky, and blah, 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 Virginia, blah, blah, blah. PPL Corporation was founded in 1920 and is headquartered in Allentown, Pennsylvania. I know this is kind of like a somewhat big time. I've heard of Allentown, Pennsylvania before, but maybe it's because maybe there was some kind of crime and then that's why I remember it. Uh, all right, so yeah, so stock utilities might be a good one too. Um, I don't know. Like, I guess. I mean, I guess I'm just wanting to do one last gamble in the stock markets, and then I'll be uh, exiting. But again, we'll have to just see how bad this thing gets. Um, let's see. They're hitting the limit. The IRS is pursuing tax payment deadlines. Like, okay, this is actually pretty important to me personally because this is actually going to cost me seven, eight grand to pay my taxes. Uh, right now, it's kind of a problem. It's not a problem. I can easily afford it, but I really don't want to pay it because if I'm handing, because I guarantee you, I'm not going to be spending any money because of this shit. And that's not what they want. Last month, uh, D -D -D, the P Trump administration is pushing back the payment deadline by day as it tries to soften the corona. We encourage those men who can follow their tax to continue to follow their tax because for many Americans, we will get tax refund. Well, I'm not getting a tax refund. I'm fucking losing a shit ton of money. On their new this one uh, can defer up to one million times without interest and penalties for ninety days. Um, uh, okay, all you do is file your tax. You'll only not get charged interest and penalties. I mean, you also said the ministry was looking at possible sending dark pennies to Americans. Uh, okay, what's going on? Payroll tax over that cut. If it happens, it only apply Social Security, Medicare tax. That all comes out of it. so it only affect employed people. Yeah, the last one applies for all time, at least three states are they are pushing back their own income back to the D. What if I don't know whether I owe money or have a refund waiting? Uh let's see. Use tax withholding estimate. I wanna make sure it doesn't like hey, you live at this address. Okay. All right, let's uh, let's put in some. I didn't make too much money last year, you know. That's also because I just deliberately just rather held crypto. Single. Uh, actually, you know what? People can use this to dox me, right? Okay. So, all right, we're. we're <laughs> I wanted to actually show you how I would do my thing. Can you claim? Okay. Uh, uh, there are wow. There are six results in this. Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna do this. I mean, I kind of already know what my tax is gonna be, so. Delay the file, you also count tax for will not be in their office, so the whole process needs to be shifted back. I see. No income coming in. How many more events like this? This person actually does make a good point. Oh, I got excited. Oh, excuse me. Um, blah, 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 blah. Let's clear that. Oh, I can't get my thousand dollar check. I'm over 250,000. I have too much Bitcoin, 4 million BTC. What? I don't know about that, but they did say the more money you make, in my case, I'll actually get less because I made more than, actually, you know what? If I file my taxes early, then I don't have to report that my income is less than 75 grand. And then therefore I might be able to get my check. Cause if, if, cause if, wait, no, 2019, how much money did I, no, that doesn't, no, actually I should have actually filed my taxes this week. Because if, because I think it, because if they don't have access to my 2019 tax data, they're going to use the one from 2018. That's when I actually made like a shit ton of money. And they're going to be like, oh, this guy's loaded. Okay, we'll just send them less money. I don't want that. I want, I want, I ah, God. All right, I'm going to have to file my taxes and pay my taxes this week so I can get it on the IRS record so that when they do pass the stimulus, I'm going to get more money. Yeah, that's actually what I got to do, especially if we get the $4,500 direct deposit from the American government. I don't think that uh, they're going to do that. Uh, I know that's what, because I was watching Nick Fuentes yesterday and they said, um, 
whatchamacallit, they're going to be doing a, uh, that's what some Democrats like Cory Booker and someone else were proposing. Uh, so it's, so I'm thinking we had like fifteen hundred and two grand. That'd be a very solid number. And then I'll and then they do two thousand. That means it'll cost six hundred billion dollars. Uh, that's not too bad for the U.S. government. I mean, it just means we're not going to be sending any money to the world. Instead, we'll be sending it here. And they have to because none of us are buying shit. So everything literally collapses if they don't do it. So and uh, Mike Servage is actually on the case. Make sure that Goldman Sachs doesn't steal our fucking money either. Uh, Servage Twitter. I don't know why this isn't an autocomplete. Um, let's see, uh, I think I might just go to my Twitter, oh, what's this, 65% right. alcohol disinfecting any sexual service or needs to reach out, down the okay, that's good, Oprah's doing fine, these rumors are untrue, uh, well, I also don't like Oprah, okay, let's go to my thing, um, Oh yeah, uh, she she also tweeted something uh, pretty funny too. The barter economy. It's gonna be like Fallout, man. We you know we're gonna be exchanging bullets for like bottle caps, and I'll use my bottle caps to buy stim packs and like you know uh, unfrozen meat. All right, <laughs> uh, people. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is a good thread by this doctor person too. Uh, he's he's actually got a lot of really good ones. I can't pin it unfortunately. Uh, here we go. Yeah, I know it's rough out there right now. Yeah, this is from 10 hours ago. There's no way I was going to be able to find it. Get absolutely prizing that we we're raising hell and make sure that Goldman Sachs and vulture capitalists, yes, vultures, because that's what they are, don't get to prey on you and your businesses. I'll personally march in the streets if this happens. He actually will do that. So hopefully it doesn't actually come to that, though. Also, this is pretty. Uh, Sun bot simply enchant. Chant. I don't know what he's talking about here. Uh, I mean, who's running bots? Uh, and they must pay. I'm thankful to have Trump's president. Uh, so did he, I like Joe to see our bad folks and aren't a threat. Yeah, see, that's what's going on here. I'm not quite sure. And you'll also notice that there's something, uh, something not quite going on, right? So that's why I think the globalists are kind of like hedging their bets with attacking China. So we'll just have to see how that pans out. Uh, China lied. People died. Da, da, da. I sorry, I'm being ignorant. Uh, yeah, so all the people who are actually anti-American first are actually starting to hit China. That's actually another big indicator that this is all kind of bullshit. There are a couple of exceptions too, like Tucker Carlson, but uh, yeah, definitely something to be aware of. All right, China is an NPC. Huck, who is manning a consent for pre planting against the American deep state large geo. Blah, blah, blah. Imagine acting like a pro bono. They say I'm probably get paid for that shit. Uh, she's actually correct. So we're going to retweet that. Yeah, there's definitely something not right with this. But I mean, the problem is China does have a lot to answer for, too. So, yeah, well, they'll just let it go. But yeah, uh, we definitely got to make sure that we get the checks and not fucking Goldman Sachs. So, um, yeah uh let's see we're at 38 minutes so i mean that's pretty much all of it so let's go over the price real fast five to six for gmc coin not too bad 404 uh seven to eight so obviously everything's going down 404 has already been beaten down so this should be going up a little bit and it is so that's actually kind of nice uh of course it'll change once everything goes back to normal and we're back in the bull market uh but hey you know whatever we're, we're already stocking up so Two by two has also gone up, 70 and 71, it's a little better. And of course, compound coin, 50-50 to 6,200 Satoshis of a dog coin. So not too bad. Uh, we're not gonna look at the news here because we already know everything. All right, we already did uh, whatever. So let's do a quick look here. Also gonna need, uh, don't care. Uh, he's ordered to pay money, good. He's a scamming, lying asshole. Uh, Craig Wright, that is. Da, 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 da. I'll start handing out free cash to Americans immediately. Yes, we already went over that. Philippines shuts down financial markets. European watchdogs ban short selling. U.S. banks are closing branches. Yes, my bank has actually started closing branches too. Crypto friendly trading giant Revolut adds exposure to gold emit on global. Da, 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 da. Okay. Uh, Google Pay, powering payments for cryptos. And da, 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 da. Yes. Okay. So, um, I don't know. What do we? 
I mean, I kind of like this picture, to be honest, but we really talked mostly about this. Um, okay. Alright, so it's actually going down, but not by too much. But I mean, it's still literally the beginning of the day. So, uh, Trump, Twitter. I mean, I don't know. Is it really going to drop to 9,000? I mean, that's my target. Um, because I definitely do not want to be buying right now. Like I, I've, I've had my fill. So now I just want to wait and see what the hell is going to happen. Uh, oh my God, Salt Lake City, Utah. I don't know, man. This is like God, right? Right now it's God. But the thing is, you got a lot of like fake Christians running around Utah. So I mean, yeah, they're not going to be well protected. I don't like saying that lately because I know Mormons still believe in Jesus Christ technically, but they. They really took it to like, I don't know, man. It's just so it, it produced Mitt Romney. Come on, <laughs> and I thought they also believe in polygamy too. Apparently, it's like that's that's not what Jesus Christ taught, man. Uh, we will, but you should to take on our board of Canada essential that any trade would not be affected. He has to follow uh, approval rating among the public party. Uh, 53% over that Becca I got none but freak her really I don't know uh, quite a lot of the difficulty in floor 48 uh, defeat out of here it's getting out of there you're doing very positive nice to him in order to keep his support it's giving up just like he did last time he dropped me on Sue yeah Bernie is such a pushover loser it's, it's uh, I would treat the coronavirus seriously or Chinese virus seriously I've done a very good job from the beginning playing my very clear decision for yeah Believe it or not, this was really good. And people wanted to say Trump was racist for closing the border with China. Including China, who was, yeah. But, I mean, what do you expect? Against the wish of everyone, or mostly everyone, may lies for say fake news error is disgraceful and false. Yeah, I mean, we, knew really, we really needed to close more than just China and lots of borders. But, you know, hey, something's better than nothing. Because the situation would be so much worse right now if he didn't do that. Uh, FDA, two hours, uh, so that should be soon. In fact, we'll probably be right after I end this video. Uh, for instance, sh oh, wait, for an hour, because important as policy, racist, money will soon be coming to you. The onslaught of Chinese virus is not your fault. We'll be stronger than ever. Yeah. Well, at least he's triggering people with this. Yeah. All right. So Trump is pretty adamant about getting us money. So, yeah, I have to actually file my taxes this week. In fact, I'll... See, I'm still watching my video tutorials, watching uh, Metal Gear Solid series so I can understand the storytelling, so I can start writing my story. And I'm still watching my Playmaker videos, but yeah, I'm gonna have to make. T I'm gonna have to finish filing my taxes this week. I'll probably. I won't. Let's see, what day is today? Wednesday. Uh, I'll do a little bit of my taxes today. Yeah, I'll do that. You know, I'll, do, I'll take it in pieces, so by the time Saturday rolls around, I'll get my thing. The problem is I really need to make sure that I get it done quickly so the IRS knows that my updated income is less than 75 grand from last year. So I can get the maximum amount of money, because that seems to be the cutoff point, 75,000. Because that's also when you reach the next tax bracket, right, 75 grand. So I want to be below that, so I get the full check. Uh, you should be doing the same thing too, um, unless you already have uh, less money. That, but yeah, you should probably follow your taxes. Everyone can help sp uh, prevent the spread. Okay, uh, clinical trial one, March sixteenth. Blah blah blah. Yeah, so we're already on top of this stuff. All right, very good, very good. All right, so we're getting we're 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 getting our checks, people. We're getting our Yang Trump bucks. Yes, yes. Actually, that is should be the uh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, yes, this we're getting Trump bucks. Yes, Trump bucks. Yes. If you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from where you're watching this from, or on my YouTube's at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe on the right hand side of this page so you can continue uh, growing this channel and hopefully I won't be uh, losing 35 grand again anytime soon. Ah, remnants of the boomer mentality in my mind still cucking me in the ass just so they could just, you know, do bad stuff. Ooh, B2 Super Battle Droid. Yes, I just had just enough currency to. Yeah, I, I see, as you can tell, I love my Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Such a such a fun game. All right. Anyway, enough with that. Uh, smash that subscribe on the right hand side of the page and try to grow this channel. All right. Because hey, win or lose, you get my truth. Right. You know.
because my losses are your experience unless you want to do it the hard way too i don't want to be doing that uh so anyway the game plan is i'm not going to be doing anything uh i am waiting for this shit to shake out i am expecting a 66 percent correction this time uh and at that point we're probably in recession territory i still don't want to call it a bear market right because you don't know until a couple of years later but either way uh the bottom may not be in i hope it's in but i don't think so because we're shutting down so much of the infrastructure throughout the entire world uh it has no choice but to go down in fact it might even get worse than a 66 percent correction uh but the good news is trump is working on the problem but it's going to take time to deal with because you know you're dealing with the fucking coronavirus it's it's just hard it's, it's just gonna it's just gonna take time you know it's gonna be rough uh next three weeks i'm hoping it'll improve in april but we'll, we'll have to see but uh, right now i am not buying i am eyeing buying at the bottom and that bomb, I think, is going to be ten grand. If it hits fifteen grand, I'm still not going to buy. But um, I might if I see clear indicators that, like, you know, coronavirus has peaked, everyone's being tested, you know, all all this fundamental shit. Because right now the fundamentals is coronavirus, um, and right now we're still in the middle of trying to get everyone tested. Right, so it's <laughs> yeah. So we'll, 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 we'll obviously play it by ear every day and then we'll see. But right now, I am not buying. I am getting prepared to buy. It'll be $17.50 a piece. Cryptocurrency markets and stock markets. And specifically, it's only because I want to get my thirty-five grand back from the stock markets. So putting in money now and then in the year 2024, hopefully Trump will be real. Uh, will still be president, obviously, this year. Uh, and then that's when I'll dump because I want out of the stock market. The stock markets are stupid and they're a scam. More risk, less reward. Like, that's stupid. All right. I'd rather have cash. I'd rather have crypto, which is also high risk, but at least I'm not being forced to sell when things go south. Right. So the only real risk is, you know, forks and developers abandoning the project. That's something that's going to be a lot less likely than corrupt banks, you know, like Goldman Sachs and UBS trying to steal our fucking trump bucks you know so um yeah it really is a globalist scam i was right to become a conservative all these years to fight against this stupid bullshit you know liberals used to be right about it, but they then they just decided to become like crazy far left wing nuts you know so they they've, they've become what they hated in the republicans right just like jesse lee peterson would always say right you become what you hate and and i think that's pretty sad you know so i think that's pretty sad yeah. You know, plus, I do see some pretty attractive-looking liberal women, but the problem is their 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 minds are so warped by all this, you know, globalist bullshit propaganda. Oh well. All right. Anyway, I'll see you all tomorrow. Uh, for now, you can buy if you want to. I kind of I'm just not going to do it. Like, I, I I I I I I've gotten what I wanted. I've gotten what I wanted. I'm being pretty full. Uh, I don't even, yeah, because yesterday was a dead cat bounce. Today was a dead, I even forgot to mention it. So I was right about the, like, that's the, the most annoying thing. I'm predicting this shit correctly, day by day, 100% correct. And I still lose 35 grand because of a stupid mistake from years ago. Uh, so I couldn't even profit off of this. I mean, I guess I could buy a, um, a short, like an ETF reverse, in, uh, inverse index, right? I don't know, maybe, do I want to really do, oh my god, here we go again. Uh, I don't even know, inverse ETF, what, I want the one for spider. Uh, is it QQQ? Oh, that's hilarious, QQQ. Pro shares, QQQ, there's a 2x version of it. Oh yeah, Direx, Direxion also did pretty good. Uh, shorts, uh, I kind of want to do a leverage one. Inverse ETF 2X. It was called, is it 2X? Uh, yeah, I don't really care. Just give me the fucking symbol. Oh yeah, this article also talks about the, uh, the mathematical anomaly. That's what I call it. Uh, 3x is actually too much, but we uh, 2x will be fine. Where is 2x? Okay, can you give me 2x? Uh, what? There's no 2x here? 2x, 2x. Here we go. Credit Susie, 2x, uh, monthly quote. 
What? No. Yeah, and all of these things are being eliminated too. So apparently I have to buy a 3X. I don't feel comfortable with that. I also don't think that's correct. Pro shares, ultra short NASDAQ, uh, S&P oil. Can you just give me a general index? Daily real estate, that could be okay, but. Financial bear, F-A-Z. All right, let's look up F-A-Z. Um, it is up 14.55%. So it is triple, it's going up pretty well. Uh, skyrocketing. Uh, kind of that's way too much. I'm curious. Oh my god, you can buy options on this shit. How much would be a call option for uh, May 1st? I want something in May. I don't want June because that's going to be expensive. Um, oh my god. All right. What, do you, what can you give me for June? Because the ones that are off the third Friday is actually like a specialized thing, and I don't have access to that. I think uh, it would cost me two thousand. Okay, yeah, I'm I'm not gambling with that. I'm not I'm not gonna pay two thousand dollars. Forget it. Forget it. Forget it. No, I'm gonna have to let this one go. Uh, I'm gonna let this one go. I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching, and here's our thumbnail: Johnson Chan, JMC Coin. 404 coin uh well i know what the title is coronavirus continues to ravage markets as trump promises trump bucks free thousand free free money can't wait <laughs> follow your taxes now